want me to read the question? Yeah. Okay. The words or phrases I most overuse are, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Perhaps I don't use it enough, actually. My heroes are people who have made and changed the world by not behaving. I brought our uh, archives here, the Amber Heard files. So let's just ah. deal with this one first. I remember this was Young Hollywood. We get a good shot of that. So this is one we did about five years ago, and Jonah Hill never had it so good, right? With uh, <laughs> Rebecca Taylor and yourself. Look at you there. Oh, and you pretty much baby. look exactly the same. Did you just turn 27? Yeah. Excellent. So I'm like 59 in actress dog years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have paranoia coming out. We can talk about that, and then we're going to talk about machete kills. But I want to dial it back, and I want to talk about Amber in Texas. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you come from a completely different family of uh, yeah. very religious, very yeah. conservative, acting, coming to the land of, you know, it's not sin. Easy transition. And, yeah, <laughs> super, super easy. <laughs> I mean, no one before had done it. You don't have any actors in the family. This isn't. No. There wasn't an uncle living in Hollywood or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no one had in my family really ever left Texas. My parents in school once were called in, and they asked them about me being such an artist and you know can I maybe channel that into like more productive things like you know math or science or something and um, my parents were like <laughs> it was this like almost apologetic attitude like we don't know where she gets this like, right acting thing like she wants to be in theater and oh, I don't know it's like we don't know if she gets it <laughs> is your younger sister out here still I remember yeah. meeting her oh, a couple yeah. is she gonna be an actress or is she kind of deciding I mean I think she sees kind of like <laughs> all the all the BS that I have mm -hmm. to go through the ups and the downs and I think that my sister sees that and is fine just <laughs> eating popcorn in the stands mm -hmm. and then doing her own thing. Well, let's talk about your role in uh, this, the new movie. So oh, you yeah. get to play as strong. She's like a bitch at the beginning, which I love, and is kind of when she meets Liam's character, she's slumming. With Emma, I, I saw that this girl's um, independent, comes from a good family. She's intelligent, but she's also educated, formally educated. And um, she's striving to make a name for herself in a world that's not necessarily so apt to give it to mm -hmm. her and I kind of wanted to explore that I also wanted to play a character that be, in being intelligent I felt would be had a more likely chance of being protected in the post-production process mm -hmm. uh, where female characters in particular tend to be stripped down because why build up uh, the nuance of, of those characters when it's really about um, them supporting the male characters Often the script changes quite a bit once you're, you've arrived to set. For the first few years, I was so afraid of being called a bitch. And now I fight for, for my characters and from the day I get to set all the way to the editing room. Robert Rodriguez. Okay, let's talk about one of my favorites. I love his kind of irreverent, kind of falls out approach to filmmaking. He doesn't care if it doesn't, you know, if it's not physically possible. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care um, about normal kind of backroom kind of trade-offs that most uh, directors or filmmakers have to make with producers and financiers and such. Mm -hmm. He really, you get a sense working with him that it's really just his idea, it's his vision, it's his show. He's willing to collaborate with other artists, actors, but no one else. Do you have anybody right now that you, like actor or actress out there that you love what they're doing? I can't think of anyone who's better accomplished um, the kind of trajectory that I admire better than Angelina Jolie. She's really parlayed of life in the public eye and used it to her advantage as opposed to just living life as a recluse because you feel um, taken advantage of by the general public and the paparazzi obsessed mm -hmm. culture. You think you would have pursued it if you knew it was going to be this much of a circus? Absolutely. You would have. It was what you wanted. I love so much the inconsistency and the travel, and I love very much uh, the the struggle that you're constantly mm -hmm. you, you're constantly put in a state of, of fight or like constant struggle. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I could have it any other way. My idea of perfect happiness is being able to eat chocolate and drink red wine all day long without any consequence. 
I consider my greatest achievement to be to always having been able to to jump. I don't know, to being silly enough or dumb enough to jump. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs>